whether it's election reform, health care, corporate bribery, or legislators, legislators, whether it's happening in Michigan or Wisconsin, Bruce is there on the ground asking hard questions for our politicians. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Felt. Good morning, Lansing! Good morning! Some of you may have heard of an organization called ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council. For those of you that have not heard of ALEC, ALEC is a dating service for state legislators in Michigan and across America. ALEC brings together legislators and a who's who of corporate America. I need my sign. <laughs> I need my people, too. That, uh, let's see, who's who of corporate America? That propose and write legislation that benefits Alex corporate members and screws all of us. It costs legislators only $50 a year to belong to Alec, and some of Michigan legislators, you and I, have even paid for their membership. We've paid for the privilege of getting screwed by the people that work in this building behind us. There are over 2,000 state legislators that belong to ALEC and over 300 corporations that pay most of ALEC's operating budget. Some of you probably think that legislation is conceived and written in the Capitol. You'd be wrong. Much of the legislation that you've seen that is meant to suppress voting in Michigan and across America is proposed and voted on behind closed doors at ALEC task force meetings during blind dates between our legislators and corporations. Isn't that I think so. <laughs> and the corporations have a veto power over any legislation that comes out of the ALEC task forces. Our Secretary of State, Ruth Johnson, just held a press conference announcing her legislative agenda to make it harder to vote in Michigan. <laughs> yes, she wants to have no reason absentee ballots, but you'll have to go to the uh, set clerk's office in person and show your ID. If you want to get an absentee ballot, they are systematically making it harder and for historically democratic constituencies to vote all across the country because they know they can't win based on their ideas. The only way they can win is to make it harder for minorities, students, and other democratic constituencies to vote. Do you think it's a coincidence that there's been an epidemic of far right-wing legislation taking away collective bargaining rights from Wisconsin to Michigan to Ohio to New Jersey to Florida? In April of this year, a whistleblower came forward and exposed over 800 pieces of Alex model legislation. So we can now compare Alex model legislation with what's actually coming out of the House of the Legislature in Michigan. This is really hard to do. <laughs> That's not how our democracy was envisioned by our forefathers. Corporations are not people. <laughs> Despite what Mitt Romney might think. Every member of Alec in Michigan is a Republican. There are 13 Alec members in Michigan's House of Representatives. Dave Ajima, Gail Haynes, Judson Gilbert, Ken Horn, Bill Hazinga, Elaine, Elaine, Eileen Kowal, Ken Kurtz, Peter Lund, Eric Nesbitt, Amanda Price, Mike Shirky, and Tom McMillan. Tom McMillan happens to be my state representative. He's so backward, he wants to make it so that we have a choice to buy incandescent light bulbs, even as they're being phased out, as long as they're made and sold in Michigan. There's only one problem. There are no incandescent light bulb manufacturers in Michigan. He's what I call a dim bulb. In the Michigan Senate, half of the members of, of the half of the Republicans are members of Alec. Jason Allen, Darwin Boer, Bruce Oh gosh. Bruce Caswell, Mike Green, Jeff Hansen, Dave Hillebrand, Rick Jones, Mike Kowal, Arlen Meckoff. John Moonar, Mike Knopf, Dave Robertson, and Michigan's Alex State Chair, Tanya Shudemaker. If we want to take back our government from corporations that, that bribe our elected officials to do their bidding, we have to make it politically poisonous for them to belong to Alex. When Alex legislators hold town hall meetings, we have to attend and ask them questions about their relationship with Alex. 
Alec has invested almost $400 million in bribes in our state legislature, towards state legislators all across the country to get their corporate agenda enacted. There are now 26 states where Republicans control all three branches of government, making it even easier to get the Alec corporate agenda enacted into law. In Wisconsin, the Koch brothers and Alec proposed and passed through its legislators a bill eliminating collective bargaining rights for public employees. In Arizona, Alec is behind the bill that has made it illegal to have brown skin so that private prison corporations could make more profits. In Michigan, Tom McMillan did the bidding of Alec by introducing a resolution withdrawing Michigan from the Midwest Greenhouse Gas Reduction Accord. He didn't even bother to change a comma. He took the resolution directly from Alec and introduced it in the Michigan legislature. McMillan also introduced a bill that would make it illegal for government to compete in any business that private corporations could do, including teaching our children. Alec has a monthly magazine, Inside Alec. Their July issue has an article in it titled warming up to global climate change. They think climate change is a good thing. They also want to limit environmental regulations so that their corporate members can go on killing Americans in the name of higher profits. I'll try later. Alec wants to privatize and profitize every aspect of our government. According to a report from Common Cause, ALEC members spent $1.6 million bribing Michigan state legislators. ALEC makes old-fashioned lobbying obsolete. We shouldn't be paying our legislators to copy and paste ALEC model legislation from the ALEC website. My four-year-old granddaughter can do that. Is this the kind of government we want for Michigan? No! Is it? No! The Occupy movement is fighting the takeover of the, the corporate takeover of our government, and Alec is behind the takeover. Alec and those legislators that belong to Alec must be replaced in order for our democracy to recover and be returned to the people. Yes. Yes. To learn more about Alec, visit the website alecexposed.org. Thank you very much. Woo!